So guys, finally RTX ray tracing is out and the first game to adapt it is Battlefield 5. How to enable this feature in this particular game, I'll show it to you. Condition 1, you need to have an RTX card obviously, as it might be in 2070, an RTX 2080 or an RTX 2080 Ti. You need an RTX card for this thing. First things first, we need to check whether the driver's update is been fulfilled and the Windows update has been concluded. So for checking the driver version, you need to open GeForce Experience or you can even open the control panel and show it to you. Uh, driver version. If the situation is parallel to yours, then you are well up to date for RTX. You can also check it on control panel if you do not have GeForce Experience. Uh, opening the control panel, you need to click on system information. After clicking on system information, the first line which you will get is the driver version. If this is parallel to yours, then you're up to date with the driver section. Now coming to the Windows part, the Windows update has to be seen very precisely. Settings, settings and system. System, then you need to click on this about part. After clicking on about, you will see this window. Uh, now in this window, uh, you need to focus on Windows specifications. Now Windows version should be obviously Windows 10. And the version. You know, this has to be 1809, 1809, that is the version you require for the update. This is very important for you. This is the one that includes the RTX. Now, what if you do not have the current drivers? Uh, what you need to do is open this particular site and I'll just link, the, link this uh, thing in the description. You need to download, you just need to select the specifications like my card is 2080, then you start search and download the first thing you get. Yeah, just download this one. That's what you need. Alright. So for Windows, if your Windows is not up to date, if your Windows is not 1809, then you need to open this link. I'll link this thing in the description. And after opening this link, you need to click on this button. Update now. Once you click on this button, this particular thing will download. This is an assistant to upgrade your Windows 10. Just double click on it, it's an exe file, it will execute by itself, it will upgrade your windows to the current version that you require which is 1.8.9 and voila, you're ready for the evolution of RTX. Alright, so after starting the game, what do you need to do? You go to more, options, videos, obviously advanced. In the advanced section, you will see DXL enabled, but you cannot enable it. Why? Because your DXL is DX12 enabled is off. You need to enable it. DX12 is nothing but DirectX 12 and RTX only works on DirectX 12. So you need to enable it. Now after enabling it, you need to restart the game. Once you just restart it if you want to have the RTX experience. Just restart it. So guys, after updating every single driver, Windows, enabling DX12, after doing everything, go back to more options, Windows, video, sorry, <laughs> advanced. And finally, you enable RTX DXR on. Oh, need to restart the game for the change. Right. So finally, RTX has been enabled. And yeah, let's see. Just in case, videos, advance, DXR on. Drum rolls. Okay, I'll just do the campaign. Just for example. I'm not going to play multiplayer in RTX. I don't want to lose any performance. It's really going to mess up the gameplay. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see how it works. So, this is uh, RTX. Well, it does really. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> okay. There's a lot of FPS drop, which I can feel. <laughs> And a lot of dead ball is crawling around. Oh. So anyways, this is RTX on 720p. I don't feel that I feel something amazing or a part, but yeah, it is what it is. Again, it's recording. And on 720p, so there is going to be some loss in the frame rate. So don't blame the game or Nvidia. Oh, there's no FFA. So yeah, this is it. 
It's very difficult to play with the frame drops and stuff. So yeah, that was RTX Ray Racing. I hope you guys liked it. I don't know why it was so anticipated and so exciting for everyone. But honestly, it's not that cool or something. Maybe without recording, it might feel a bit different on 1080p and ultra settings. But as of now, it's not that great. I will definitely never try multiplayer on it. Yeah. Thank you. Please do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.